Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to go over how you can trick your MacBook into being able to have an external microphone. Um, the problem with Mac computers is they don't have an actual microphone jack that's installed in them. They have a headphone jack. And for someone like me who would like to actually use an actual external microphone, in my case, it's a Rode VideoMic Go or my VideoMic Pro that I use for my DSLR when I do um, filming for skateboarding or just sports in general, is the external microphones are always going to be better than the internal ones that come with the Mac. And so to be able to get the best crisp down, you want to be able to have an external mic. So today I'm going to go over how we can actually trick the computers into thinking that headphones are plugged in, but instead you're using your microphone to be able to get it done. So what you're going to need is an audio splitter. Now you want to make sure that you get the right audio splitter. And the reason for that is each one of the uh, computers um, reacts a little bit differently with a different type of split. And the reason for that is when it comes to the input that the computer um, takes in, it has um, different types of uh, tip, ring, sleeve ratios that will work for your computer. Um, test out your MacBook and see which one actually works with yours. For mine, I originally bought this one. So just a regular um, split audio headphone jack. And this one that it comes with is tip, ring, sleeve. And so I tried using this and unfortunately going through the system on my computer, it didn't work. And so I plugged in the splitter, took my microphone, plug it in, nothing. Because my um, my mic is also set to be a tip ring sleeve and you would think that because the uh, audio splitter and the headphone splitter is the same thing that it would work all every single time or possibly it just would work in general. No. The trick is what you want to do is you take your audio splitter and you plug in your external headphones. For me, I just have a very basic, I think I went to the 99 cent store and just got um, very generic headphones. It has a microphone built into it, so you wanna have headphones that actually have a mic built into it. And so you take it and you're gonna plug it into one splits on the headphone jack. And again, because this one, it needs a tip ring ring sleeve for my computer, it still says that it's built in for the audio for where it's gonna come in. So I had to go out and buy a new one. So this one, it's a Milso brand, a one with Milso as well. Um, it's just there's two different types of inputs that you have. Looking at them side by side, you have tip, ring, sleeve, tip, ring, ring, sleeve. So taking the one that is supposed to now work, I take that, plug it into my computer, and you, tr you try from here. Um, it says there's two different, um, it's a mic and a headphone uh, adapter. So if you plug just the microphone in, unfortunately it's still not gonna read. So you might think it's, you know, the, the headphone splitter is um, defective or just doesn't work, you wanna take it back. No, you still go through the same process. You first plug in your external headphones without the microphone in first and now it says external microphone microphone port so your computer now thinks that it is still going to be plugged into the headphones that you have but what you're going to do is you're going to trick the computer into keeping the microphone port open by now connecting your external microphone and it still says microphone port and then you unplug headphones so now these no longer are going to be used and now you have the ability to use your external microphone for the uh, primary audio for your computer to be able to film 
any type of videos that you need better quality of sound in. And that is how for a MacBook, you would be able to use an external microphone with your MacBook Air or Pro. If you enjoyed the content, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be updated on when I post. I try to do it every weekend if I can. Um, also, make sure if you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment in the comment section below and give the video a like. Have a great one and enjoy using your new external microphone.